Hello, my name is Linda Haddad. I am one of the English teachers at the Ramses Cultural Center. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a paper crane. It's an origami crane. Origami is a Japanese paper art form. And this is a, a kind of bird, a crane. I learned how to make this as a child and I've enjoyed making it many, many times. We need a square piece of paper, but usually we have rectangular pieces of paper to start out with. So I'm going to also show you how to get a square from a rectangle. So you start with a triangle. Bump it across. Try to get the edges as straight as you can and run your fingernail across the crease that will make it easier to tear. Then this extra part, we will fold over both ways. Again, line up the edges, run your fingernail across, fold it over, and again, now you can tear it. If you have a pair of scissors, you can use that too. So now we have a valley fold diagonally. We're going to do another valley fold, making the other triangle. I like to make good creases with my fingernail. It makes it easier to do the next steps. Now we will do, so we have valley, valley, and now we are going to do mountain folds straight across to make rectangles. Match up the corners. And then you'll do it this direction. Okay, so now your paper should look like this. This point should be pointing towards you, bring the opposite point down to meet up with it, and then the sides will tuck in on their own. Okay, This point will come over to meet this point, and the sides tuck in. Now that this is finished, I make sure that the open end faces me. I will bring this side to the middle. It meets up along, along the center crease, so it folds over like that. And I will fold it over on the opposite side. Okay. Now I flip it over and do the same thing on this side. and it's going to look kind of like a kite. All right. This part up above, I'm going to fold it both directions. Really good, press down hard. That will help with the next folding that makes a crease. Now I'm going to open this up and this part Reminds me of a baby bird with a mouth, with a beak open. Okay, ah! Okay, you make this, you keep that crease that we just made, keep that in the middle, fold this down, and flatten it. I flip it over, and do the same thing on this side. Okay, there you go. All right, now I'm going to bring this side and instead of being next to this, I'm gonna, this other side, I'm gonna bring it to meet up here. And these two are gonna meet up here. I need to help this flatten a bit so that it's nice and pointy. Now these parts that are down are going to be the bird's wings. First, I'm going to bring them straight up 
see, this is how it looks. I'm gonna pinch it in the middle, pinch it hard in the middle, and I'm gonna bring this side out a ways. That's gonna be the neck and the head. And I'm gonna bring this side out a ways, just kind of choose a place and then pinch hard. Now I'm going to make the, the head of the bird. So I put my thumb inside here and with my pointer finger, I bring this down. And then I pinch and there's the head of the bird. Okay, one more time. I put my thumb in there with my pointer finger. I pull it down and then pinch. To make the wings, I, I leave a little bit uh, up above there, about half a centimeter, and fold it down. And again, leave a little bit of extra there and fold the wing down. You can experiment with angles. Like sometimes I fold the wing a little bit more this way. But this time we're doing it straight down. Now I'm going to pinch the bird right here at the bottom of the neck, the base of the neck, and pull straight back on the tail. There we go. Pull straight back. You're not making it go down. You're just pulling the tail straight back that way and it makes the bird flap its wings. Okay. You can kind of curve the wings a bit if you'd like, and there you go.